Hi there, Gemini, Gemini Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign. This is Chrissy from In the Stars by Chrissy.com, and welcome to your December 2020 Love Monthly Forecast reading. Please do know that this is a general reading, so it may or may not tune in to each and every Gemini people out there. So just keep that in mind as we go along. So, yeah, without any further ado, let's now dive in to see what might be happening for you in terms of your love life relationships as a whole and when we talk about relationship reading this does not just focus highly on love itself though it's that is the idea first and foremost but it also talks about you know the different relationships and focusing energy that we are in concern of uh, for the month of december 2020 so just keep that in mind now the first thing that really caught my attention is this three of uh of swords into the reading the three of swords usually um usually talks about some form of pain and disappointment but with how the cards are being laid out right now i would say that a potential for conflicts a potential for for annoyances or sorry about that a potential for um for arguments and you know uh petty annoyances can actually have some form of influence into this reading especially because we do have a lot of unstable cards over here now it's not really a bad thing it's just that i would say it's highly emotional and highly based upon your impulses in in life now speaking of impulses we do have the first card over here as the full card and you know this is a card we're in um it's a very childlike energy and this is a situation wherein you're just very much open to life to the point wherein you're not really thinking in a very serious manner this could be a situation wherein you are open to the opportunities of life grabbing in whatever opportunities that comes your way this can also be a situation wherein it is telling us that there is some form of ups and downs that is happening for you in terms of your relationships i don't know if, if that has a lot to do with your personal relationships or intimate relationships um however i just kind of feel that there is an up and down kind of cycle going on with that there could also be a situation wherein something is being taken advantage on and not really in a negative way but it's just a point wherein you are um I'm, I'm not sure if it's you or you are in the situation just like this one but um someone is like um taking you for granted or you are taking for granted someone in the relationship because we do have here the nine of pentacles which has a very carefree kind of energy you know and the fool and nine of pentacles has a very indiv individualistic kind of energy wherein someone is focus with their own self and not really paying attention of the other people because this is um not really a ver very selfish card but together it is telling us that that person or you uh whoever it is being re represented by this reading is focusing on their own self you know and you know that is not really a bad thing it's not bad to be selfish i cannot stress that enough it's just that when we are being too much of being selfish um especially when we are dealing with people when we're dealing with relationships we do have the two of cups over here that can create unnecessary um upsets and downfalls um from time to time you know uh just like they say in the past you know there is a need for yin and yang there is a need for balance especially when it comes to relationships we cannot just take and take at each and every time we need to learn how to give we need to learn how to share we cannot just be blindly uh, selfish into the situation if that makes sense this can also be a situation wherein you know if you are single you could be in a situation right now wherein you just want to be in a relationship and you're finding your way into finding a partner or you are wishing to be in a relationship 
um, that kind of energy to the point where in you're not really thinking about standards anymore and you're just going in with your own feelings that kind of scenario the next card that we have over here is the queen of pentacles now this is actually one of uh a very good card i would say there is a form of careful energy uh, an energy of stubbornness and some form of patience as well uh, which is telling us that before you have been a lot more passive and with the month of december you are a lot more open now which is very much of a good thing like i've mentioned earlier um this car this the spread that we have over here is highly focused on your own dreams and desire and the page of wands over here is really telling us that you know you are there could be some form of good news coming your way for the month of december you could be the one initiating this um but it's telling us that um you have a very strong intuitive abilities during this time you have the ability to pursue what you want to believe in yourself all at the same time as well uh, and you're not think you're not overly making things complicated as well which is uh, a wonderful thing this is you um being overly expressive and really being open to what you want and you are willingly admitting this to a lot of people and to the people that are around you we have the nine of cups over here which is really a wonderful card this is called the wish card in 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 general for tarot now this is good this can also be a situation wherein someone feels drugged i'm not saying that in a very literal sense it's just that point wherein you know everything is so emotional especially it's with the 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 moon card so the nine of cups and the moon card is like telling us that your your emotions right now is so on high it feels as if as you are on high <laughs> that kind of energy this could be a situation wherein something really good happens into your life that can really um give you some some form of utopia <laughs> and uh, unexplained happiness i would say at the very same time this can also be a situation wherein you're not really you know um you're not giving your actions much thought you are just um making decisions and taking actions based upon purely on your own instincts so that of course can go in various ways it's just that i would say that you should be more careful with your own decisions because there might be um various consequences to the decisions that you make during this time so with the judgment over here it, it is telling us that there is going to be some form of conclusions that can come with that and hopefully it all pans out in a very positive way it's just that you need to be careful not to bump in to other people you know it's okay if you are making decisions for your entirely for yourself but if it's dealing if it if it is dealing with other people with relationships i kind of feel that you need to respect that boundaries and respect the other people um that are you know in that are having a part of a, a certain situation that you are dealing with right now with the seven of cups as the next next card it is basically telling us that your head is basically in the clouds right now so you could be in a situation wherein um you're not thinking clearly uh, that is a possibility or you could be having a lot of scattered energy because there are so many things that you want but you are unable to you know um, have a concrete plan into things you, you really don't know if you are in the right path or or not because uh, this is like a very uh, a person that goes by the whim and it's not entirely a bad thing <laughs> unless unless there are you know a, a, i didn't really put any clarification cards for this but um all of this is basically telling us that 
you are basing everything upon your own emotions but you need to be careful with that because we do have here the king of wands which is a wonderful card but this is also another very impulsive card so um i would say that overall this reading is telling us that you are going to be um making decisions for sure there is something that you are going to pursue and act upon but but at the same time you're not thinking about it you're not contemplating about the decisions that you are to make and there could be regrets later on but we're not really talking about that right now it's just that there is a um there is a situation here we're in you need to take into consideration of the consequences of the decision and actions that you are making especially for the king of wands this is a situation that is you know uh, things can change in the blink of an eye as well this is a highly energetic card all at the same time so um it could be that uh someone enters the scene someone comes along and you know creates sudden changes in your life on a positive note this could also be a situation wherein you know everything is happening in your life in a very impulsive manner and they are all good they're all positive however i just cannot ignore the existence of the three of swords so this could be a situation that maybe you are in a relationship and then you you find someone else or you meet someone else and you, you're not really making any decisions to split your current partner so there is also a possibility of you know just accepting everything that is happening for you so you might enter a third party situation be because you feel like doing so remember the energy that we are picking up here, here is like um, a person wanting to fulfill their emotional desires and not really thinking of any consequences not really thinking of any negatives that might occur they are accepting everything and just like i said earlier we should not think that way because sooner or later karma will strike back um, into our relationships and that is what this, this judgment card is over here and funny enough this judgment card is actually with the two of cups which is about the relationship so some form of karmic situation can happen in terms of our relationships if we are not careful enough so um yeah however i do feel that there is going to be some form of you know um some friend can come along opportunities can can come in there is something that has a lot to do with our goals and dreams that can manifest through the month of december 2020 it's just that um the only thing that i cannot stress enough is that whatever it is that we want to to do in our life what whatever it is that we want to implement in our relationships we need to um do them with some form of responsibility and determination within ourselves we need to be responsible to our own actions to our own decisions especially when we are dealing with another person that's for that sort of um situation but um yeah um, overall i kind of feel that this is a really wonderful reading it gives us a chance as if um, something that we are wishing for for a lot of gemini people at least is being granted and what you do about that gift is going to be you know another chapter and story for many gemini people out there so um yeah thank you guys for watching and tuning in with me uh, if you do want a more personal reading just like this one or something more very specific for you you can do that by booking a session with me through my website in the stars by Chrissy.com and I shall see you guys again next year. Goodbye.